Coming from an engineering background, I've learned 3D modeling through designing things like machine parts or things that have very angular geometries and a lot of uh, flat faces to them. But when you're designing things like I do for this YouTube channel, like items from video games or movies or different weapons, you come across things that require different types of curves and different types of uh, different forms that are influenced by nature. So, so I'm going to show you one technique that I've used and works really well when creating these natural forms. First, I'm going to sketch up a few leaves. Okay, so now that we have our leaf shape cut, we basically know what one dimension of our object will be. Then now the next thing to do is to create the second dimension. This will essentially give shape or form to these flat sketches. So in a plane perpendicular to these sketches, we're going to create a sketch that will be extruded through and create the waveform of these leaves. So first what I like to do is just draw a square or a rectangle. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that it is perpendicular to these sketches. So now that we have this plane, what we're going to do is sketch out the shape. And I'm just going to create a very simple wave type form. And with this sketch, we're just going to offset it to create a thickness. And then we're going to close off the ends of the sketches to make a solid cross section. What you have to do is extrude this out into a solid object and it's essentially going to work as rolling out cookie dough and using these sketches to stamp out shapes. You'll see what I mean in a minute once I extrude this. Now take the leaf sketches and extrude them through the object that we just created. The default option for this is to cut, but if you look over here next to the dimension, we can choose to intersect the pieces. And all this will do is leave out the places that fall within our leaf sketches. Hit enter. Let's remove the sketches in the grid. And here you have the leaf shapes. This cookie cutter type technique can be used for all sorts of different things. And you can take it even further to make different cutouts within a shape from different angles. I actually had to use that technique in order to make the stone or rock type features for the Sol Rock Pokemon video that I made. So if you have any questions about 1-2-3D design or you want to request a certain uh, tutorial video, leave it down in the comments.